everyone, Britton here from Top Wolf, and today in this video, um, I'm actually going to be teaching you guys how to screen record on your Xbox One, but this time, without a capture card, and in my opinion, I think it's a better way to record, and much, much easier, because, well, I, I, it's just a lot more easier. So basically, um, what you need is Windows 10, because basically you need the Xbox app, now if you can get the Xbox app with Windows 10, someone please send me a video on how to do that. <laughs> Because, you know, I'm, I'm just curious to know um, how to do that. But if you guys do, just look up a tutorial on how to get Xbox, the Xbox app like this one on Windows 10, just, just then you should be fine. So then what you want to do is you want to click on this, which it should say game streaming, which, um, okay, so here's my Xbox One. So Xbox One, Brayden, test streaming, um, needs to be updated, make sure, okay. So, my Xbox needs to be updated right now. That is nice. So, be right back. Just a quick tip. Um, if you guys are in the beta like thing, the Insider Hub, you will need to download the Xbox beta app. Otherwise, it will not work. You're going to have to delete your beta updates and everything. But um, now, let's try this. So, you know, you click on it. And then say, you know, you want to play on your Xbox. So there are no controllers attached. Well, that's fine because, you know, I'm, I'm playing on my, oh my gosh, this is actually like, I, I mean, it's, it, if you might, like, you need a uh, good internet, but what you can do, like say hi, and now it will be behind, but you know, like I, this is playable. Like I, I can play this just fine. Like, I mean, I can look around, and it's, like, pretty much, like, on par with it. So, you know, alright, so now that you got that done, what you're going to need is another program called OBS Studio, um, which I'm actually recording on right now. So, as you guys can see, you know, of course it does work. Or, alright, so now say you, like, I don't know, you, um... Uh, don't have internet connection also shout out to my notification squad infernal brute yep i i will shout out his youtube channel um later on in the video but um anyway so what you want to do like you know say that you your computer i don't know isn't compatible with obs studio just say that we'll hold down windows key and g and then should say, do you want to open up game bar? Press yes, this is a game. And then just hold down Windows key and G again. And then you can start recording. You are, you could record up to an hour, I think. So let's just say, you know, just around here. Now, like say that you need your quality lower. Just put it at medium, I guess. And then just keep on playing. Now, the only downside about this is actually that basically, like, the of course, the quality will not always be, like, it, it'll sometimes lag. You just have to have a good internet connection. And, like, say that you have an amazing internet connection. Well, there you go. Then this should work perfectly for you. But say that you don't really have, you, you have a good internet connection, but, like, you know, you won't be able to, like, stream things like this. Well, yeah, then you might want to do the Xbox way, which, you know, you could even, you could even, like, do a tutorial on, like, I don't know, say, how to beam broadcast or something. I don't know. Um, and the best part is, once you're done with it, you can even edit it on your computer. So, say that I want to do another file. So, say that that's done with that clip, and I'm just going to move over here back to my house and just like be here you know and all right so so that tiny warrior shout out to him um all right so and then start recording again and then you know just walk around in your house and say that you're completely done all right we'll just press this press stop streaming and yes, this does work with your microphone, and I will even show you proof. So just...
press settings, audio, and I'm not really sure if it actually did record with my audio because of course, you know, I'm using my audio on my microphone right now, which is what I was using. For All right, so you know, you're here. And um, that's fake. That's fake. This is the real one. So the only one that's actually real is Microsoft.com. So it says Essential 2012 release notes. No, Windows Essential 2012 suit reached end of support on January 10th, 2017. So it is no longer available for download. So, you know, that's what everyone, or not everyone, but like that's what most people would use if they're very, very first starting out on YouTube, which it's a, it's, it's pretty good for like a starting YouTube channel or something. That's what I, I even used until like two or three months ago. Yeah. So, um, that's a big, big deal because a lot of people actually did use that and I don't really get why they got rid of that. But, um, as you guys can see, I actually do still have it, which if you've downloaded it, you know, but, um, so just say, you know, you drag your clips in here. And then there you go. You see, you can edit them and then upload them to YouTube. So again, let's get this video to 10 likes and I will make a best editing software video. Um, I'm going to do the top two video editing software, I guess, because I'll also feature this in the video. But um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and share with everyone else you know. This has been Brayden from Wolf. And goodbye. <laughs>